hello! Over here! I'm glad to see you again. I hope the traffic wasn't too nasty. Anyway, look at this sweet Mercedes Citaro K. It's straight off the lot over in Sunny Springs. Of course, it's a smaller model, but I'm sure everyone in town will be hopping onto this bus and our little project in no time. Great! I'll just take a seat over there while you make yourself comfortable in the driver's seat. Take your time to familiarize yourself with the controls. Don't forget to close the doors and remember to turn on the lights. I think you may be a bit taller than the driver who delivered the bus. Don't forget to adjust your seat after you've started up the engine. Are you ready to bring public transport back to Seaside Valley? Great! Then release the parking brake and let's head for the exit. Oh, before I forget, I've got a little surprise for you. Just follow the route on the GPS. You see, my predecessor wasn't a fan of public transport, which is why they shut it down in the first place. In Sunny Springs, where I used to work, we collaborated closely with the local bus company, which improved the satisfaction of our residents significantly. The first stop is coming up. I hope you remember your training because I've invited a couple of people along on our maiden voyage. Just park close enough to the curb and within the markings. Oh, and don't forget to use the turn signal. Hello, everybody. Good morning, Miss Tannhauser. Glad you could make it. Hello, Mira. Thank you for inviting me. Hey, Sam. How's your daughter? Thanks, Mira. She's been really busy lately. Oh, she's rather lively, isn't she? Glad to have you here. Everybody, please take a seat. We'll be departing shortly. Now, this is the hard part. Do you see that clock? Do you think you can make it to the next stop in time? I'm so glad so many people have turned up just for this little test drive. They really seem pleased with the prospect of once again having a working public transportation network.
going pretty well so far, isn't it? The next stop is right over there. Aubrey and I moved here a while back. We found a great apartment just up that street. And we've really been enjoying the neighborhood. There are a couple of great restaurants around here. River Promenade. Speak of the devil. May I introduce you to my fiance? Hey, honey. The neighbors asked if they could borrow our lawnmower. Sure. Send them my regards. Looks like we're good to go again. Oh, wait. Someone's blocking the door. You'll have to tell them to move so we can close the door and get going. I think we've got them all now. Did you know that this bus has a Blue Tech diesel engine? It has an output of 210 kilowatts. I did a lot of research before we decided on this model. I really love to walk this promenade in the summer. You always have a light breeze, and the trees offer some shade, and the river's close by if it gets too hot. Our next stop is over there! Oh, sorry. I'm just super excited. Next stop, Seagwallen, Lido. Hello. A ticket, please. Oh, this is just a test drive of sorts. But wait, it would actually be a nice opportunity to make sure the ticketing machine is working properly, wouldn't it? Hey! I didn't think you'd show up! <laughs> hey, Mira. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I'd make it. Professor Zellerman, didn't expect to see you here. As if I'd missed this opportunity, my fiancé already sold our car in anticipation of the return of the buses. What? Really? Then let's hope this venture is a success. Have a nice day. Next stop, West 
Toledo is a really great place for a bit of relaxing leisure time. There are nice rest areas, and for a reasonable fee, you can get a wonderful massage. Oh, there are even a couple of people I don't know here. Seems word has gotten around. This is our terminal stop. All passengers must disembark the bus here. After that, we'll drive to the garage to park the bus. To everybody who's still on board, I want to thank you for participating in this drive. With your support, we'll bring public transport back to Seaside Valley. Excuse me, can you help me get off the bus again? Oh, of course. Would you help the passenger in the wheelchair to get off the bus again? I think that's everyone. The route to the garage is marked on the GPS. Let's head there and call it a day. We've been talking to some graphic designers to create some decals and wraps to customize our buses. Hopefully, we'll get some design submissions soon.